All right, guys, what's up? Uh, Michael Pixley, I'm gonna show you guys some secret hand fighting tricks that I use. So first off, when you're making contact with your partner, you never want to reach with the front leg with the front leg hand. So I never want to come out and reach because then my legs are wide open. So I'm always gonna make contact with the back hand, so I can touch him or I could club. Regardless, it doesn't matter. Do whatever. So say when we make contact, we're tying up. Uh, tie up with me. Just some basic, some basic tricks, keeping our elbows in. Thumb blocks, guys. We use our thumbs in the armpits here. So when I'm thumb blocking, couch can't really reach me like he wants to. So you can keep big guys off you. Just thumb blocking in the shoulders, or you can thumb block at the at the elbows here. So thumb block in the armpit. A thumb block in the uh, the bended arm. Another rule of thumb. You can use your elbows as like a defense. So say I'm tied up a couch and he goes to shoot on me, I can just turn my elbows in as like uh, like bumpers almost. So off of this, I can just block my elbows. Another another thing I see a lot of guys doing when they're clubbing to snap, they're snapping at the strong part of his arm and nothing's happening. I'm just here. Always push into him, get his arm straight, and I'm snapping at the head and the wrist. That'll get his hands on the mat a little bit easier. So we're not snapping here. We're strong. We're going to push into him, get this arm straight, and snap it at the head and the wrist. All right? Another thing, we can't snap him into our legs. So when you snap, you got to get an angle. So when I snap couch, I'm always going to club and snap, and I'm going to circle right. And that's the opposite for the other side. So. Another thing to get some offense created, we're tied up. You're gonna use your hands like windshield wipers, clubbing at the head and the tricep here. And then when I'm going the other way, I just switch. That's a little drill you can do. Help you hand fight. So like, uh, this is just basic ways to clear ties. So if Couch gets an underhook on me, and he's got head position, first off, I gotta get head position back, palm up, clear the underhook. He's got a two on one on me. Peel the top hand, and then we're digging our elbow back to our own two on one. Or, if he's really got it, you can just kick in the hip and pull your arm out. That's a little more high level, I guess. Um, another thing, the couch is grabbing my head really hard like this, and I can't, I can't do anything. I'm, I'm getting tired. I'm just gonna grab the elbow, put my ear on my shoulder, and circle. I'm kind of ducking the elbow. Just a normal elbow pass. Um, this is just the basic ways to clear ties. I'll get into all the, the details later. Alright guys, so like just some basic, like uh, when you're doing your hand fighting drills at your team or whatever for your warm-up, focus on just not reaching with the front hand, making contact with the back hand. You guys can jab the shoulders to keep your distance, just like when you're playing guard. It's always about judging distance. So boom, I keep them away from me. Then I can make contact. Just work on pushing at the shoulders, pulling, circling, you can fake. To your snaps. We're moving. You get to your own tie-ups. Your partner's gonna clear out. You know, just keep keep the motion going. If I get to my underhooks, partner clears out. Boom. Just working on keeping the distance, faking, moving your feet, and then snapping. And using our hands like windshield wipers. Guys, to set shots up. Don't just bang on them. Boom, boom. With the intention of setting something up.
you guys got any questions, just drop them in the comments. Make sure you hit that red button, like, and subscribe. Ha, <laughs>